Now, I don't generally make these types of videos, but this one's going to be an exception to the rule. I briefly went over this in yesterday's video, but I'm going to make this entire video dedicated around this bad boy right here. The Agma PR6, the one that Banshee is selling in particular because of the roll. The Agma is a very, very strong PvE pulse rifle with things like stats for all perpetual motion demolitionists in the first column or the third column rather. It does have adaptive munitions and unrelenting as well in the third column, if that's more of your style. You can also roll things like One For All, Adrenaline Junkie, and Wellspring in the fourth column. Maybe you want a Dragonfly or Disruption Break, it's got that in the fourth column as well. So this thing automatically has some pretty solid rolls. The one jumping out to me initially was the Demolitionist Adrenaline Junkie setup. As you can see here, this is one that I got from last season that I used in a few GMs last year whenever there was a solar burn, mainly on the arms dealer. But this is the roll that Banshee is selling right now. Let's go ahead and infuse this thing real quick. I do have some nice infusion fuel all right now that it's up to speed up to par let's go ahead and uh, masterwork it there we go now we got this bad boy up to speed at 1570 and masterwork it does have a reload masterwork which i mean isn't the strongest masterwork but the main perks are really nice you also have some good pools as well of choices that you want it's got extended barrel polygon rifling Accurized rounds or flared magwell. If you want the more stability route, you can go with both of the bottom ones. However, I do want to have some strong range, so I'm just going to go ahead and put an extended barrel on it. I do want to keep a strong reload with this thing as well. Plus, this thing does have a pretty smooth origin trait for faster reloading for the top off of the magazine, which is nice, as well as some increase of stability, which, hey, it's always welcome here. Not the biggest fan of the way the gun looks, at least weapon skin wise. That's much better. Crucible Vermilion, if anybody was wondering which shader we picked. Now, we all know that on primary weapons, Demolitionist is going to replenish 10% of your grenade energy, and Wellspring generates 8% ability energy across all three. Now, depending on how your setup is looking, if none of your abilities are down, obviously a Wellspring isn't going to function. But let's say if your Snap and Rift are up and it's just your grenade, well, then you're technically, theoretically, going to be getting 18% of your grenade energy back instead of the usual 10%. Which is the main reason why I'm even making a video on this gun to begin with, because there's not too many guns out there that can roll with both demo and wellspring truly defining this gun as the gun for a lot of grenade builds especially if you want solar you want font of might you want matching subclasses elemental armaments this is the go-to weapon you're gonna want ain't gonna get much better for generating your grenades quicker than with this perk combo all right so what we're gonna go ahead and do is first i'm just gonna go ahead and throw these two uh, my two fusion grenades away uh, i do have 100 discipline if y'all couldn't tell and now oh man yeah that is much quicker dude that is actually insanely fast that is way way faster than just just standard demo bro that wellspring definitely coming into effect there to say the least we'll just go ahead and generate it back yeah dude okay I, I, okay i'm seeing it now let me be the first one to say uh, i'm not the I'm not the biggest fan of running pulse rifles in pve unless they serve a purpose and this gun particular uh, definitely serves a purpose in the fact that it's got the demo wellspring combo, which I am, uh, I'm all here for. Alright, uh, yeah, y'all can just hold that. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna destroy all these thrall, get my grenade back pretty fast as well. Dude, yeah, that wellspring is also very nice and just generating my, my other abilities quicker, bro. Definitely a beast in the PvE side of things. Not gonna say much for the PvP side of things, mainly because I've never used this pulse inside of PvP. Throw the grenade, and I'm just gonna get shoot. That's two kills. And look how look how quick this the grenade comes back off kills off this thing, dude. The Wellspring demo combo really putting in that work. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna switch to this one. It's got demo, but instead of Wellspring, it's got AJ. Okay. Now look, I do love me some adrenaline junkie. Been hunting demo adrenaline junkie on my unforgetting for a minute now. I just want to show the difference between having Wellspring and not having Wellspring. All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna throw my two fusion grenades. See a fusion balls, and then let's go ahead and let's start just clapping up some of these thrall. Definitely noticeably slower. It's still fast just because demo's goaded, but it ain't it ain't as fast. You can definitely tell the eight percent is definitely missing, uh, to say the least. I really like generally junkie too, just for this setup in particular for getting your grenades as back as humanly possible. The demo wellspring is one thousand percent the play, the combo for this specific weapon. Especially because there's just not that many guns that can roll demo wellspring. In fact, I'm pretty sure one of the guns that can roll demo wellspring is a goddamn grenade launcher. Head to Banshee and get it while you still can. If you're watching this video at a later date and you just so happen to get that roll, keep it. It's very, very much so worth it. Y'all take care. Y'all be safe. Make sure to subscribe.